Hey everybody, welcome to the Creatorpreneurs Academy, where you're going to learn how to get more traffic and make more customers with Laughing Bird software. So today, we're going to learn how to get more traffic by getting onto a top 10 list. Then we're going to enhance the list with eye-catching graphics. A top 10 list. People go nuts over top 10 lists. Top 10 tools, top 10 blogs, you name it. So you can create your own top 10 blogger article or YouTube video as a list. It's super easy to do and it'll get passed around the internet. Creating a list article is easy and it's just a matter of research. A list article is something like three ways to slice a pineapple or five design tools you'll need in 2020. So why do people love lists? Because they're super scannable and they're quick to read. Great content strategies involve a mix of quick, snackable content pieces. So today, right after you watch this video, create something like a product comparison guide. Your potential customer has so many products to choose from, you can help them out with a product comparison guide or a list of top 10 services that are compatible with your own. If you're comparing, say, your product with uh, your competitors, you gotta be objective and you gotta be fair because maybe you're a better fit for a small business while your competitor may be better for large corporations. So all you have to do is write up a comparison guide for a product you don't offer, but which relates to your audience's business. For example, if you walk or train dogs, you can create a top 10 list of the products needed for training, and then make sure you insert one of your own training videos into the list. Or you can name top 10 websites that your customers may need that enhance your services. And of course, you can add your own website into the list. Chances are good that your customers will share your top 10 list. And of course, you've snuck in your own product or service as one of the list items. Your blog piece will then get passed around on other platforms. It's a creative and valuable way to gain some traffic. And to make your list look awesome, you can create all kinds of page headers and graphics that go into your list. Here, watch. I'm going to step over to my computer and show you how to create some of the graphics for your list with the Web Graphics Creator. Okay, on my computer here, I have created a, a fake blog to basically show you what a top 10 list would look like. So here I have basic tools for training your dog. Okay, and let's pretend I'm a dog trainer. So I've included clickers, a target stick, treats, okay? And down here, I have also included training videos. And since I'm a dog trainer, I happen to have some training videos that I will include in this top 10 list. And when this list is shared around the internet, everybody will see all these and they'll see my training videos. It's pretty clever. Okay, but one thing this uh, blog needs is some nicer graphics, is some, is some nice graphics. Okay, so to create the graphics for my blog really quick, I'm going to go into a new tab and I'm going to go to the Web Graphics Creator. It's an online tool that allows you to make graphics for all kinds of things. So I'm going to log in, and once I log in, I'm going to hit the Create button. And the Web Graphics Creator allows you to create all kinds of graphics, logos, e-covers, social media graphics. I'm going to come down here to Blog Graphics, and I'm going to click it. And when it loads up, you'll see that I have uh, templates for blogs here. Okay, now I'm going to find one that I think is going to suit my purposes. So, all right, for my blog, I already see this one. I'm going to click it. And when it loads up, I'm going to select this background because it has nothing to do with dogs. And I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to come up here to the photos and I'm gonna come over here and type in the dog. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got some really cool images. This one looks really good. So I'm gonna drag it over. It's as easy as that. I'm gonna make it fit the canvas and I'm going to send it to the back. Okay. Then I'm going to bring this down and I can say anything by editing the text top 10. Okay, and then let's make it big so people can see it on the blog page. And there's this. Okay, and then all I have to do is took me about 30 seconds to do that. And I come over here and I'm going to download this. 
to my desktop. And then back in my blog, we're going to enter it as a featured graphic. Now, I don't know what kind of uh, web uh, page editor you're using, so I'm just going to assume you know how to create a featured graphic image. I happen to be using WordPress, so I'm going to come over here to the featured image and I'm going to upload that graph. Okay, there's my featured image right here. And after I insert it, I can go back to the front page and I'm going to refresh the page to see if it worked. Bam, there is my beautiful featured graphic. And it took what, like 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, now we also need uh, maybe some page headers for each of these. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, graphics creator and this tab is open, we can close it. I'm not gonna save that right now, I probably should have, but um, let's try marketing graphics. Let's see what I can find there. And we're gonna try and find page header-like graphics. And if I can't find any, I'm going to create them. So I, I kinda like this style here, something like this. So I'm gonna delete her. I'm going to grab everybody here and move them up a little bit. I think in my head I don't want that and I'm gonna format the canvas so that it has a rectangular shape. And we can change the text by double clicking again and this to clicker. Okay, that's too big. I'm going to shrink it here and your colors can be whatever you want, of course. And if I click on the canvas again, I'm going to set the width of the canvas. You can play with this all you want. And format the canvas so that it's a little bit more of a rectangle again. Okay, there's my page header, and if I don't like the orange, it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna make it transparent anyway. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to download this as a transparent image, which means there's gonna be no white background here. And I'm going to say dog clicker, download. It goes to my downloads folder. And then my other topic was um, a stick, a target stick. So I'm going to say target stick. It's in the same style, the same size. I'm going to come over here and have download this and say target stick. Download. And I keep repeating these steps until all of my topics are created. And then back in my editing area for my blog, I'm going to insert the graphics. Okay, once they're all uploaded into my blog, I'm going to update my page or however you're going to do it in your, um, on your website creator. And let's see how cool our blog turned out. And now when we preview the page, look at that. We have a nice uh, page header, I mean a, a featured graphic, and we have a pretty nice looking list that kind of breaks up the, uh, the look and feel of the page. And because this looks awesome, it's gonna get passed around and your training videos or whatever product you're putting in here to go with everybody else's um, products, it'll get passed around and uh, you should get some traffic for it. So there you go. That's how to get yourself onto a top 10 list and have it get passed around the internet and how you can potentially benefit from that. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next week on Laughing Birds Creatorpreneurs Academy. Thanks for watching.